Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Watch this. We leave, we go back, everyone's gone! <laughs> Everyone is how? How? Anyway. <laughs> so I have decided that I am gonna go back over to the challenge machine because I have the opportunity to keep playing that to show you new decks, even alternate builds to old decks that I've shown before, like say, uh, Rain Dance. <laughs> I know I said earlier on I wouldn't use this, but I figured maybe I should show an updated one for the Team Rocket expansion, and you know, I got these sorts of cards as well. It's a little bit cheaper energy cost than your typical War Turtle. I got two of these, two of these, They're the same sort of Blastoise. Um, got this for the Rapid Evolution, because I can get Gyarados possibly very quickly. By the way, take note of the weakness to Grass, weak to Lightning, uh, weak to lightning, we got two Lapras, weak to nothing. So not only is this covering all sorts of normal water weaknesses where they're usually weak to a lot of lightning stuff, so then I just switched to something else. I also got some versatility in that I can cause paralysis with the Squirtle, or the, uh, the special legendary Articuno with the quick freeze, or just if I have enough energy on this one I could start aggroing, yeah. And I also... By the way, I saved my stop at deck on the, the deck machine, so I didn't lose the recipe or anything like that. But I basically dismantle all my decks just so I can put everything into one deck per part. So here we go, energy removal, Professor Oak, energy removal, I mean super energy removal. I got the max of these each, but I, I don't have two more of these, so I just gotta deal with that, I suppose. Um, since I only have two Pokemon Breeder, I instead have... Uh, Pokemon Trader to sort of make up for that. Got four bills and nightly garbage run to sort of recycle the stuff back in there, potentially. So, yeah. Now, what do you say we destroy everyone with this? <laughs> I mean, how, how powerful could this deck be? <laughs> it couldn't possibly be more powerful than the Stop It deck, could it? Could it? Oh, I would say it is. So anyway, Heather is up first. Let's go. And see what the cards hold for us. And with all that draw power that I've got, I could very well... Oh, hello. I could very well uh, just end up getting Blastoise on turn two, and then a bunch of energy cards and just utterly sweep. Uh, but I'm gonna go lead with Squirtle. I got plenty of Squirtles to go by there, so I'm sure I'll get another one down the line if this one should get KO'd. Here's Bill. And nightly garbage run water. And we're just gonna go ahead and bubble. Very nice. So we get the paralysis right away. We are already in good position. <laughs> just put it that way. If she can't do anything and I already got the one energy ahead. Uh, put that on magic carp. And we're gonna go for the rapid evolution basically, if I'm able to. I mean, sure, she's got the uh, grass Pokemon, but I'm pretty sure Gyarados is going to be able to sweep what she has. Let's just, just put it out there. <laughs> as long as I have the opportunity, you know? I mean, I may still get the opportunity of Blastoise. That could also work as well. Uh, but she's got the paralysis on me this time, but that might not matter if I should get some sort of evolution dealio. I got Professor Oak. What do you say? We dump our hand. Sure, we got the Blastoise, but we got three other copies. <laughs> so I think we're gonna be good with that. Nope, there we go. Uh, War Turtle, there we go. And... I suppose... Wait, I should actually go Nightly Garbage Run. Plop that, plop that, plop that. Since we already got the Blastoise, we're good in that regard. And we already played our energy, so we're just gonna go see what we get with Bill. And alright, so let's bubble. Maybe paralysis will hit. It did. Yeah, that's part of why I picked this war turtle as well, because of the paralysis chance. That 50% chance is gonna hit every so often. Eventually, probably, is a pretty good chance of that, I would say. And this is what we call game over. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and plop that on there and just plop this on there. Why not just put Gyarados on there as well as Hydro Pump? <laughs> so that's with the Rain Dance. We can basically power up any water Pokemon with as much water energy as we can, and since everything in our deck is water. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Alright, so it's gonna do a little poisoning to the Blastoise, but I have that one water energy to kinda kinda wipe out that Parasect pretty quickly there if I if I needs to. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna put that on Gyarados, and here's the Hydro Pump, which is gonna get 60 damage now. And <laughs> it's like wiggly top all over again, isn't it? <laughs> So now, at this point, the only thing that can really save her is if she continually gets paralysis on me. Oh, she's not even... wow. She's not even attacking with her. Well, I got Professor Oak, oh, wow. Uh, what do you say we go... do that. And then Professor Oak, because we're going to get more energy out of that. Just kind of just flop them into the discard pile. Ooh, Lapras, nice to see you. And I put that back on the Gyarados. Might as well put that in play and get the Articuno powered up for the future in case something goes awry, though I don't think it's gonna go awry <laughs> with Blastoise. There we go. And yes, if Blastoise has some other status effect, the sleep confused or paralyzed, it won't be able to use Rain Dance too. So that's kind of a factor if I'm using Blastoise to attack, so I might be pre preferred to use. Uh, you know, just other Pokémon to attack with and leave Blastoise on the sideline, but I've seen the opportunity for a nice sweep there, and I took that. So that's... that's how Rain Dance works. <laughs> well, now... <laughs> Man, you think, think I'll have difficulties with those other four? Hmm... Well, let's find out. Kristen is next. Let's shuffle and see what the rain holds for her. And we got oh gee oh no! <laughs> I had Blastoise Squirrel, Pokemon Breeder, another Blast. <laughs> well, all I need is two more Water Energy then, which I could very well get with the Bill or my opening draw. Wow, I got all I got three Blastoise in my opening hand. That actually, might be too much. Uh, four Blast. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Anyway, let's bubble. And heads. Thank you for the paralysis. See, I'm kind of lacking on the energy here, but we shall see how that turns out as we continue to do our turns here. There's another water energy. Plop that on there. And I guess I should go for the bubble again. Oh, failed. I was going to say, just a case of paralysis, because I don't think she's going to be able to do 40 damage to Squirtle, so... And bill for two. It is the pot of greed of the Pokémons. Oh, Wiggly! <laughs> and Minonet. So I guess maybe she could have. Uh, no, wait, no, no. She yeah, it hasn't been far enough along that she could do the way. Because yeah, she doesn't have enough power with the Wiggly Tough. All right, so Pokémon Breeder. Let's do the promo Blastoise. Be all fancy like. There we go. And Hydro Pump for forty at the Venonat. It has a lot of HP, so it should be able to hold off until I get some more basics, sort of like that. But I also need energy. That's kind of, kind of on the important side too. And just going for the sleep because she can't power up Wigglytuff quick enough. Probably she's thinking. Yeah, but Bastille stays asleep. Alas, alas. So that also means I can't use its Pokemon power, but kind of, kind of big whoop in a way. In a way, if you think about it. Uh, so I'm just gonna call it a turn here and just wait until I wake up. Eventually I'll be able to get an attack in with the- ooh, ooh, she might be able to be doing some waves, although she's only got two bench Pokémon, so she's only gonna be nicking off 30. And, oh, I didn't wake up again. Alas, alas, well, Blastoise didn't wake up again, I'm wide awake! Uh, I'm gonna put that on Squirtle, and we're gonna do a sneaky sneak here then, just in case of Wiggly Tough Threat, and call it a turn. <laughs> so yeah, as, as you can tell, it's like everything you draw with this deck is just death to the opponent. <laughs> just, just saying. All right, so we got ourselves the possibility of well, I'll just tackle with Hydro Pump. I was gonna say the possibility of getting other Blastoise, but if I, but I kind of need a Pokemon Breeder or trade one of them back to the deck, or something, you know, because I, I'm holding all the Blastoise right right now, so I don't know if I'll be able to get another one. Ah, oh, didn't wake up again. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, water energy. I'll, I guess I could assume that I will be able to, and then uh, just kind of go from there, because I'm not in a bad position or anything like that, so she can just keep on trying to power up the 
wiggly top while I just keep energy removaling that. That's another option there. Nightly garbage run. I might just do that, just in general. Uh, I'm gonna put that on Blastoise. And, yeah, night, night. Oh, 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 yeah, that's right. It's only Pokemon and energy, and I, I didn't really cycle through that much because I didn't play Professor Oak. Well, that's my own fault. It's, <laughs> I only got one energy back there, but at the very least, I can knock out the Wigglytuff. And Kangaskhan is a go go. And this is gonna be a fetching. Hopefully, she can get something that can maybe give me a game here. So as you see, I got a War Turtle now, so guess what other critter is coming into play? If you guessed a turtle of some kind, you would be correct! If you guessed a Dark Blastoise, you would be INCORRECT! <laughs> I'm gonna put Bla um, Magikarp on there. Wait, should I do promo or should I do regular? How about we do regular on those? Yeah. <laughs> Sure, just make things to give a little bit of variety there with the critters I have out in play. I got Bill, and now she needs to hope to all of, uh, I should say, pray to all of Arceus that she manages to cause something to me, and she did not. And thus, that is what we call game. Uh, I even got super energy removal, but let's just finish this off here. Just kind of wipe out the last one, that's how it's done. <laughs> even with that slow start there, the old, you know, the one critter still was no match. Alright, Ryan of the Fighting Club is next. Maybe his swifter Pokemon can cause mine ire, because I've been having kind of slow starts. Maybe. Maybe. Though I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> um, that's Squirtle. I also got uh, Blastoise and Pokemon Breeder there, which is, of course, very nice to see. But uh, I need one more energy to be able to start blasting with the Ice. Uh, and Diglett's got the... Ooh, that actually could be an issue, because it could do 30 damage on the next turn. Uh, except if I do that. <laughs> there we go, Bubble! There we go, and as long as he's not able to do 30 damage to Squirtle, we should be good to go. Cubone, energy removal on my Squirtle, ooh, sneaky sneaky. <laughs> oh, she, he's not even gonna, okay. I would have bet he was gonna, yeah, let's Bill. Hopefully I can get some energy or even more Pokemon. Bill, Professor, oh yeah! <laughs> let's plop that on there. Uh, I guess I'll see what I get with Bill before Professor Oak. Traitor and War Turtle. Oh, that makes you think here. Maybe... What I should do is trade War Turtle back to the deck and get a Magikarp here. And put that into play. Plop that... No, I should actually put it on the Blastoise. And then Professor Oak. And then that'll potentially be able to prepare me for a G G Gyarados, if need be. Oh, I got one. <laughs> uh, anyway, I just want to attack with Blastoise here. Maybe I'll save the energy in my hand since I can basically attack... Or attach that at any time, I should say. Aside from if I get some sort of uh, status ailment or whatever. But <laughs> we shall see how that turns out. So yeah, turn two Blastoise. Kind of a powerful little critter there, and since it used Snivel there, I'm gonna go maximize our Hydro Pump to get a, get around that a little bit. <laughs> and there he goes. I mean, he could do another Snivel if he'd like to. Um, uh, best of luck. I, 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 I think this deck is a smidge overpowered. Just, just a smidge. As a matter of fact, I should. Whoops. I should uh, do this as well, and just go Professor Oak to get some more Pokemon and energy in the hand, because why not? That's just how this deck works. Uh, energy removal as well. Ah, you know, I might as well just go ahead and do that on the Diglett. <laughs> this is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> this is way too powerful for computer-controlled opponents. <laughs> Oh jeez. Alright, so whatever he ha puts in the play has got to have more than 60 HP or he's got to be able to defend it. And it looks like he cannot defend 
the promo diglet there, so we hydro pump for the win. Well then, <laughs> that's game three. <laughs> Who will be able to stop this deck? Who? Oh, we got. Oh, interesting. I, I didn't notice this. I, I, the GR number three is actually. Huh. Really? So I guess you can rebattle those decks over here. I thought once you beat them over, like, in the main the main storyline, you could only play their newer decks. I guess not. Good to know. <laughs> so we got the GR number three's original deck here. And we're gonna go... Squirtle-o. There we go. Oh, six prize cards. We flip, we go first, and Articuno. Oh yeah, that's right, it's, ah, oh, it's the fire attack. This might be too easy. <laughs> oh, jeez, I mean, well, you, Dry, Dry Out can help the... stop my water attacks in a way, but not if I'm causing paralysis, because there's Professor Oak already. Uh, but I can't breed it on the first turn anyway, so I'm just gonna bubble. And he can't attack me with the, uh, um, yeah, Chip, I should say, can't attack me with the Moltres here, so we are good to go. And execute Magmar, just filling up his resources. He may go for that dry up, we'll see. I think I should probably power up the Articuno. And if, if he decides to dry up, he dries up, and then I just... I just, I mean, yeah, it's, I'm probably gonna get a Blastoise one way or another, you know? <laughs> Alright, so are you gonna be able to get something? Oh, you got something! Look at that! And thus, my energy gets sucked. Wait, wait! Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's right, it's flip a coin until you get tails, so you didn't get heads. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> uh, I know Articuno. Maybe I should just Professor Oak. I mean, yeah, I can. What the heck was that? <laughs> the uh, Professor Oak will just give me more options in general. And I'll probably get another Blastoise. Pop that on there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, energy removal, Moltres, I suppose. Yeah, Lapras on the bench, attack a bubble. See how that goes. So, no, turn to Blastoise this time. But, oh, it's coming! You know it's coming! <laughs> Uh, I only didn't play the Professor Oak because I couldn't evolve Squirtle again. Because you can only evolve a Pokemon once per turn, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna go Professor Oak again now. Uh, I just wanted to make use of all that I had in that hand, basically. And... Well, Nightly Garbage Run could, uh... Potentially get me a Blastoise back in there. Let's see, put that back in the deck, put those other energy back in the deck. Uh... I guess I'll put Magikarp there. Bill, see what we get out of it. Squirtle, that's all right. But oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, I already played that. So it's Professor Oak. I just want to get that Blastoise. Yeah, four of them in the deck. Well, I mean, I guess some could be in prize cards, but there we go. <laughs> Hello there. I just you know, I got a couple of energy cards I can put to use here. Um, it's just attack. It has 50 damage right then and there. I can't put any more energy cards in play anyway. Oh, there's water energy. And thus the sweeping begins! <laughs> so yeah, if I wasn't using Blastoise, I could alternately trade to get the Gyarados using Magikarp, but primarily I want to get the... Uh, well, the oh, that's right, I, ah, I did it again. Primarily I just want to get the... Uh, Blastoise more than anything, and then focus on other stuff, but, you know, I'll, I'll improvise depending on the situation. Uh, there's Gyarados. And Oddish. And Oddish. <laughs> and Growl. That's, uh... I hate to break it here, that's not really gonna do all that much. Uh, I should also probably increase the amount of HP that I have on the, the side of the field here, you know? Probably should. And you know what I also probably should do is Pokemon Breeder, that uh, Squirtle lit the Blastoise. And I suppose I could get another one of those going. Just for kicks, I 
this is yeah, 90 damage due to the weakness. Growl reduced it by 10. You see, it doubles first and then reduces. But it's kind of... Yeah, still a little too much. Oh, got that paralysis. So no rain dance for me on this Blastoise. Good thing I have that other Blastoise. Otherwise, I don't know what I would do, you know? <laughs> um, the uh, super energy removal. I'm just going to try and save that for... When the t time is right, like say, if I uh, well, like maybe I only have to, I don't have to use it. I was gonna say if uh, there's something on the bench that has two energy cards that I can't just outright destroy with that. So yeah, I'm just gonna hydro pump that and take it out of play. There we go. We got the Dark Charmeleon that could do a lot of damage, possibly, or does absolutely nothing. Uh, let's go. Yeah, I think I actually should. Go get some versatility here at the Gyarados. And I jump up. That's gonna do quite a lot of damage there. <laughs> due to the weakness, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway, because I was still enough to uh, wipe it out even if the weakness wasn't in play, like if we were at the GR Fire Fortress's final room. And look at that Hydro Pump. Man, that is just, just a, quite a powerful little attack there, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna blast ice on the last card. Sorry there, Chip! But it had to be done. <laughs> and the finale is gonna be Rod, the Grandmaster of the. <laughs> the <laughs> That's the leader of the Grandmasters. Am I just gonna utterly humiliate him? Probably. With I mean, <laughs> I mean, this deck is really, really fast and powerful. I mean, sure, it had a couple of slow spots. Oh, wait, wait, oh, wait, wait, oh. Uh, I kind of kind of have a lack of critters here. Maybe I could go first. Oh no! <laughs> uh, what's he got? Oh, Scyther. Uh, oh, oh, he's powering up Charmander instead. Oh, he's probably gonna go and power up Charmander to just outright go for a slash on my Magikarp. So I should probably try and set up a super energy removal in some sort of fashion, and also I'll try and go for a Gyarados. Uh, yeah, I'll call it a turn. We'll see what he does, like if he switches over to Charmander. He may not. We shall see. Depends on... Uh, yep, okay. So he's gonna go for the Ember. As expected. And there we go. That is probably the better of the moves that I could have expect. I mean, I would have expected... Oh, Professor Oak. <laughs> uh, let's put that on Magikarp. And... You know, we probably should actually... Super energy removal that Charmander, because we're gonna get a fresh hand anyway. And we're gonna nightly garbage run just because we can. <laughs> Put that back in the deck. It's not really that we need it per se, it's just, you know, we're just gonna get a new hand anyway. And Bill? That was a kind of an awkward start, and I could have lost here if he would have been able to power it up quick enough, but nope! All turned out well. And also. I wonder. Oh! <laughs> uh, can I get a Pokemon Breeder? Can I get... Oh, Pokemon Trader will do. Because uh, if I can get a... Oops, yeah. <laughs> if I can get a Pokemon Breeder to get that Squirtle up and running, you know, it might be, it might be good to go there. But anyway, let's flop for now. And just kind of do our best in terms of what we have at the moment. Because I was like, ooh, I got a little bit worried there at the beginning. We're okay. We're okay now. <laughs> Alright, so Gyarados is going on there. And how about we go Pokemon Trader. We're going to trade the Squirtle in for a War Turtle, assuming that it's in there. I'm hoping that I have that. It acts like the, a Pokemon Breeder, but just like a little bit slower. Oh, wow, really? Is it in my prize card or did I miss it? Because it should be a level 1 like that. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Well, how about we go Lapras instead? Lapras is fine as well, but yeah, it kind of throws a little wrench in my plan, but that's okay. Let's end the turn. It's probably going to go for the Ember. Just dish out as... Oh, maybe not. I was going to say dish out as much as he can to Gyarados, but... Well, I guess it's going to... I guess it's not going to... Knock Gyarados down to 60 HP, then 
he wants to, I suppose. <laughs> and yes, I know I have Professor Oak to try and get Blastoise again, but... Uh, 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 should I? I don't know if I should. At the very least. Mm. Nah, I think I should. <laughs> I might just be overthinking this, because there's... It's like you can never go wrong with Professor Oak, after all. Uh, it's just energy removal lap. For the sake of the future. No. There will be no Blastoise Breeder now. Oh, man! <laughs> eh, it should be fine. If he's probably gonna leave Scyther, yeah. Let's say leave Scyther out because of the, uh... I guess you could say damage absorption, because he doesn't really have the energy for a Scyther, and yeah. And there we go. I didn't bother with the energy removal that I have there, because it's... Nothing that he has out is that threatening at this moment in time. Even the Charmander, I just kind of use it for kicks more than anything, in all honesty. I like... Eh, if I wanted to, I guess I could do that, but is there really any point to? I guess, like... As soon as he puts it out, I'm just gonna Dragon Rage sweep and yeah, there's Pokemon Breeder. That's one key to the puzzle. But I just need, say, a Pokemon Trader or just outright draw the Blastoise. We shall see. And Water Energy. Oh, wait, wait, that's. Uh, wait. Yeah, that's right, right. <laughs> I was thinking. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like that I, that I needed uh, a War Turtle again for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> like I, I had Pokemon Breeders, so why would I need the War Turtle? Oh, Charmeleon. So I guess he's trying to get Charmeleon going to do as much damage to Gyarados as possible. And I guess that's. Uh, well, oh, there's Pokemon Trader. So we're gonna put Squirtle back in the deck. And. Blastoise! Pokemon Breeder! Blastoise on there! Water! 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 Dragon Rage! <laughs> you know how it goes by now! And there's the other Blast- I mean, another Blastoise. So, I guess that might be why I wasn't really getting things, because they were in the prize cards. I think a promo Charizard going on there. But, uh... Will it be worth doing that? Perhaps, because it could take out Gyarados rather rapidly-ish, if it can get powered up. Uh, well, at the very least, I like, should get something prepared for that if he puts it out, so... If I put Blastoise out against the Charizard, it'll be a one-hit KO, because 60 times 2... Well, you know, if, if Blastoise is completely powered up. That's the idea here. Uh, Nightly Garbage Run. Let's go for one Blastoise, Water, War Turtle. That's right, I had the War Turtle in there. I forgot about that. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Dragon Rage. And. Call it a turn. Double colors to Kangaskhan for the fetch, I guess. Yeah. He's just trying to get whatever he can get. And. I'll save that. Because the, uh,. Kangaskhan is going to be knocked out anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and knock that, and there's the Charizard. So if I get Water Energy here, just switch on over, or you know, Professor Rope over to a Water Energy, that'll work as well. And this is, this is what Rain Dance does, after all, and then we do a retreat. Three energy, it's costly, but not for Rain Dance. Uh, Lapras on there, energy removal just for the fun of it, and Hydro Pump for 120 damage. Victory goes to the Rain Dance once again. <laughs> Jeez. Man, that's another streak. Woo! Happy days! So that's a uh, 10 streak out of 50. <laughs> Those wins, Vince Curd's clear streak is down too. Come back and challenge again soon. I shall maybe. <laughs> For now though, what I thought I would do to finish off the part is head back on over to GR Island and finally do that Dark Venusaur trade. As well as uh go and do the other cards trades with the Bill's computer over at the uh, game center. Just as long as I... just as long as I could do so after all. Oh wait, I should actually see. D do I have mail? I think I do! Oh jeez! 
Oh, that's... Oh, it's notification for the Grandmaster Cup. Anyway, challenge machine. Uh, it is I, Dr. Mason. Have you tried out a new challenge machine yet? Yes! I, I did it! was right behind you! It says, a great test of endurance, adaptability, and overall strength for your decks. You see, if you can manage a streak of 50 wins, I'll award you with a neat Doug Trio coin for your collection. Come on, take the challenge! Dr. Mason's Research Lab, General Manager, Dr. Mason, happy face! Whoa, mouth! Uh, okay, so we're gonna- we need to clear out the inbox, basically, for the future cards we're gonna get, so we're gonna read. Uh, Battle Center Battle News! Greetings from the Battle Center! Come visit us sometime with a friend and link cable for a card battle. Winners earn three booster packs, even if you lose, though, you'll still earn, win a free booster pack. It's basically a way to encourage interaction between players. Additionally, if you happen to win 50 Link Battles, you're in a special coin. Please stop by soon and show your friends your skills. Yup, 50. You also gotta do 100 for another one. Uh-huh. 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 That's a lot of battling. <laughs> <laughs> well, battle myself, which is kind of boring. I don't know, I'll figure out some way to speed run through that, I hope. Maybe I can even game shark the, the value or something, I don't know. <laughs> Greetings, Vint. This is Grandmaster Rod. The other Grandmasters and I have scheduled a very special event to be held soon. The Grandmaster Cup. If you're interested, please stop by the Pokemon Dome to participate. We'll be busy preparing for the cup, so visit whenever you're available. Leader of the Grandmasters, Rod. Oh, face! <laughs> So I guess that's uh, when the cup unlocked. Alright, so that is taken care of. And game center we go. Let's grab our coinages that we cheated for. And. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. <laughs> and we're in! <laughs> Alright, so this machine here. We needed Bill's computer to actually use it before, that's why I said I didn't want to use it, because I really, really couldn't use it. But you can get these promo cards if you should trade in a Bill's computer card. So let's say, trade what with Bill's computer? How about we say we do the whole loads of Ammonites and the 20 chips out of our 65,000? <laughs> It trade with the Bill's computer, and check your mailbox for the new card, which I don't know if it'll happen... Uh, and, uh, like, it'll probably have to happen after I... yeah. Probably when I flop on, like, turning off the game and turning it back on again. But let's do this with all of them. Let's do... Wait, what? Uh, yeah, yes, you already have a card... Oh, you can only do one at a time? Oh. 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 I thought you could do them all at once, I never did that before. <laughs> I mean, I never did this before. <laughs> I just kind of, yeah, I always just grazed over it. Okay, so I guess I'm stuck. <laughs> so with that, uh, oh no, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. I I'm not stuck. I'm not stuck. I said I was gonna, tr I was gonna. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I just realized. Uh, I, I said I was gonna go do the Dark Venusaur as well. So let's put those chips back in there. There we go. Oh, oh, oh that, that's interesting. Nine thousand nine hundred seventeen. Okay, so. It must have just had been like at a glitch value when I put him in the last time. <laughs> Alright, so... It was the Electric Fortress, right? Or, or was it the grass? Uh, no, yeah, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait uh, uh, yeah, it was the grass, dang it. <laughs> Cause that, yeah, it makes sense, cause the Venusaur grass place, yeah. Uh, you! Slava Venusaur level 67 with an alternate illustration. You have a Dark Venusaur level 37 up for grabs yet? Yes, I do! Oh, yeah! Let's trade! There we go! Woo! Happy days! So, it's just the basic Venusaur, only with a different illustration. Just nice! It's a promotional card, good for the collections. See? The illustration is different. Indeed it is. Hey, Mint, you remember me? You traded me the card I needed to become a member of my favorite group. A trade with Mint. So cool! You're the best! I think of you every time I use that card ever since we traded. Oh man, I think I've... I've got a fanboy on my hands. <laughs> oh, that's it? Okay. Alright! Now I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I build a new deck and do another challenge run.